Bye. 
tradition yes. here at St. Andrews. It's our Lessons and Carol service. And I just, as we're getting started, want to say a huge thank you to our music director, Scott Skinner, because he came up with a really creative way um, for us to be able to share in this Lessons and Carols service. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who haven't been a part of one before, there's not going to be a sermon tonight, so you get a break from us. But there is a message. There is a message. <laughs> What's the message? We'll find out. <laughs> There'll be seven of them. <laughs> and so we're going to be journeying through um, stories around Jesus' birth, these beautiful scriptural stories around Christmas. And then this year, um, since our choirs could not gather to sing in our musical groups, um, Scott has shared, is going to be, he had pulled recordings. He had the forethought yes. to record our choirs. Yes, so we actually do get to hear some of our St. Andrew's choirs and other soloists and musicians from years past um, bringing us that Lessons and Carol service today. So that's pretty amazing. And there's going to be Pastor Andy playing the flute, which I've never heard. So You'll I'm get really, to hear it today. I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, really, just to be a part of the service, you just follow along with us tonight. We'll put lyrics up on the screen. And we just hope and pray that this service can be a part of preparing your heart uh, for this Christmas time, which is mm -hmm. just around the corner. It is. It's almost here. Mm -hmm. And we also have some altar flowers up here. Our poinsettia dedication for this weekend is in memory of Joseph Jean and Phyllis Crawford and Orwell uh, Louise and Fran Eddy um, to honor those that live with uh, physical disability, mental illness, or developmental disability. Um, and both of these dedications are uh, from Janine and Lee Eddy. Thank you, Lee. Um, this today. So thank you very much, Lee. And we do want to invite you to join us after the service tonight on Zoom for our happy hour. Um, just a time of conversation, trivia. Again, you don't have to have come to it before in order to join us now. It can be um, just kind of a nice way to connect with some other people from St. Andrews. So we'll post that Zoom link in the chat. It was in the email that went out too. So join us for that around 6.15. And we do have a lot of Zooms this weekend. Tonight's Zoom. Um, and then we have our SALT Zoom uh, tomorrow evening at 6.30. Mm -hmm. And our Adult Forum. It's not Sunday really morning. an Adult Forum. It's, well, it kind of is. This week. It could be. It's a little different this week. Um, we had a lot of fun this week. We got to drop off Bibles for our elementary school age kids for their Bible milestone. And so tomorrow we're inviting those kids with their families to join us on Zoom for like a Sunday school lesson. And any of Bible. you as well can yeah, join us Yeah, others can join too. Yeah, we're going to be just playing some games, learning about the Bible um, mm -hmm. and having some fun with that. Some of our youth are going to help lead it. It's going to be a really nice time. Around closer to 11.30 um, tomorrow for that. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I also want to remind you to uh, fill out our connection card. That, uh, and as we say every week, if you're on a tablet or a phone and doing that, wait till the end of the service because you get kicked out of the worship service. You can't hear what's going on or see it. Um, so wait till the end to fill out that connection card. And also our office uh, is going to be closed this week for a special holiday. Um, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, um, our offices will be closed. Um, so don't expect anybody here to answer that door or answer the phones. Yeah. Then we will have some, we have a lot of worship services coming up as well. Um, so we want to invite you especially to join us on Wednesday night. We'll be having for our final Advent service, Blue Christmas. So we've been trying to make sure you all know what Blue Christmas is. This is a service of prayer and lament, um, a time to acknowledge that Christmas isn't always just a happy time. There is some sad sadness and grief, especially this year around the Christmas season. And so this Blue Christmas service, which is going to be co-led by Lori Herman and Stephanie Alexander, um, with some beautiful music as well, is a way to share in that grief and lament that's often a part of this holiday season that doesn't get recognized. Um, and to turn that grief and lament over to God at the time of prayer. You do need a few things to get ready for that service. We want you to have a candle if you can light one. You don't have to, but if you can, as well as some fabric or paper and something to write with um, as you're, we're going to have um, some praying time where you write on either fabric or paper, and you're going to be tearing those things. So those are some, some items that you'll need um, if you want to participate in those ways on Wednesday night for Blue Christmas. Check out our Facebook event page um, for more information about that. Mm -hmm. 
And then we do have our uh, Christmas Eve uh, service, be at uh, five o'clock uh, live stream, and then on Friday, uh, Christmas Day, we'll have a ten o'clock uh, service, Christmas Day service, and then our regular services over the weekend, which mm -hmm. are going to be special. Yeah. Um, we are going to have our synod has put together a worship uh, for that weekend, and so we'll hear uh, the message from Bishop <clears throat> Bishop Andy Taylor. Um, and also, uh, Rachel Lyons is part of that as well. I don't know if she's on screen. She, she did all the work. It. Yeah, she put it together. So, um, Pastor Terry to the Allen will give mm -hmm. a children's message and other things like that. Yep. We actually haven't seen it yet. I have not seen it yet, but mm -hmm. it's coming. So looking forward to that next weekend. So just know that you'll be emailed um, the bulletins and the information about all these services in advance. It might not be on our normal schedule, uh, but you'll get them out in time. And so our office staff has set up a schedule for email communications around all this too. Yep. And that is all our announcements. Yeah, just make sure you check out the Pinch of Salt for any more information. And that's it. Okay, and so... I get to light the candles. Now we'll continue with our lighting of our fourth Advent candle as together we sing Hurry Jesus. Communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. Stir up the wills of your faithful people, Lord God, and open our ears to the words of your prophets, that anointed by your Spirit, we may testify to your light through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And we sing our hymn of praise, Angels We Have Heard on High.
The first lesson is from Matthew chapter 1. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law, and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Word of God, word of life. Their second lesson is from Luke, the first chapter. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings. You, are, you who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you shall call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. 
The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come to you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God.
In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house of the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Our fourth, le fourth lesson is from Luke, the second chapter. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths 
and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. I just want to say, again, I just want to acknowledge we are doing our best with our technology here. We've never done anything like this before, and it's stressful behind the scenes. So I just I want to take a moment of privilege here to thank Tyler and Scott for their work behind the scenes. <laughs> so well, you know what? And it's okay. We're allowed to make mistakes. Um, and so we're going to continue now with our readings, and um, we'll get that the music shared. So we'll, we'll get a chance to hear all those carols. Don't worry about that at all. So from Luke chapter 2. When the angels had, them, had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When the child had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherd said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Word of God, word of life. So now we're going to play the carol that was meant for the previous lesson. We're just going to play that now. So here we are.
And our sixth lesson, lesson is from Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, the second chapter. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed in all of Jerusalem with him. When he, when he call, had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they heard the king, they went on their way. And the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. And coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Word of God, word of life.
the seventh lesson from the first chapter of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all humankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Word of God, word of life. So again, we want to say a huge thank you to our musicians of years past, the choirs, um, as well as Scott for sharing those recordings. That was pretty, pretty special way to have this lessons and carol service. And thank you all for your patience. Again, we've never tried anything like that before, and I thought it went really well. So again, I want to say thank you to Tyler too for his work on the tech side and um, being able to even make this possible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's really 
We hope that you choir members at home remember some of those songs that we're singing along at home. I mean, that could have been really fun too. Maybe you should record it yourself. You got your big solo um, tonight, so. And at this time, um, we are going to continue with our prayers, and we do have um, prayer updates to share with you. Mm -hmm. We're praying for healing for uh, Jim Upsa, a uh, former uh, members here, member here at St. Andrews, who's been diagnosed with COVID, is hospitalized this weekend. We're also praying uh, for peace and comfort for uh, Melissa and Doug Reed. This is uh, uh, Kristen Hetrick's friend. They lost their son Parker in his sleep after a lifelong battle of epilepsy. So prayers and peace and comfort for Melissa and Doug as they grieve. And we're also praying for peace and comfort for the Lyon family. Um, their matriarch, Emma, um, Bill Lyon's mother, passed away yesterday um, following uh, complications from, uh, from COVID. And so prayers of peace and comfort for Heidi and Bill and their uh, son, Wilson. Let us join our hearts in prayer. Most gracious God, thank you for the good news of your birth for us. Help us to rejoice in your presence and to share your love with all we meet. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God of light, we thank you for your gracious rule. Direct world leaders, international organizations, so that your peace finds its way into desolate and defeated hearts. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the church. Thank you for music and musicians. Especially this day, we are thankful for those who serve in the music ministries of St. Andrews. Bless Scott Skinner, our choirs, and musicians. Fill our hearts with song, that we may rejoice as Christmas approaches. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all in need. Be with the sick and the suffering, especially those we've named in our prayer updates. Thank you for those who love us and those we love. And be with those we name before you now in silence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the peace, O Lord, be with you always. And also with you. Can we share that peace with one another? Peace be Lord's with you. Peace. 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 As we uh, come to our time of offering, I just to remind you all that you can uh, continue to give uh, throughout the, this coming year. And tonight, actually, uh, you can uh, go through the Push Pay app, also through our website. There's also a link, um, will be link, or already is a link on our chat. And we thank you uh, for your offering uh, at this time. And, uh, and we thank our musicians for their musical offering.
Let us pray. Generous God, you have created all that is, and you provide for us in every season. Bless all that we offer, that through these gifts the world will receive your blessing. In the name of Jesus, Emmanuel, we pray. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is his right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ. You comforted your people with the promise of the Redeemer, through whom you also make all things new in the day when he comes to judge the world in righteousness. When we remember the night which betrayed Lord Jesus, took bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to all the drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Lord, have mercy your love, and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Christ is present and comes to us through ordinary things. And now we receive this blessing, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious and abundant God, you have done great things for us, and we rejoice. In this bread and cup, you give us life forever. In your boundless mercy, strengthen us and open our hearts to the world's needs for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
And now receive this benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you and be with grace and mercy. And the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. And we sing our Christmas carol, Joy to the World.